all right guys thank you for your patience this is the chapter four season four battle pass review video starting with page one we have a loaning screen which is pretty cool actually v bucks banner icon up here are dualies here the backup blades i kind of like the idea of like a knife and an axe like that dice roll emote You know, that would be really fun with picking Fantasy Draft Order in your Football Fantasy League, I'm just saying. This is a backlink called the Luxury Lockbox. Hmm. An epic back... That doesn't look epic to me, I'm just saying. Speed run. Emoticon is what it is. V-Bucks. And then Nolan Chance here. Is this gonna compete with Midas being the biggest hunk in Fortnite? I'm just saying. It might be. It might. Page two. Loading screen. Looks fine. We have a spray that we can now use on the outfits, by the way. Just saying. A glider called Flight Risk. It's all right. A few bucks. Uncommon weapon wrap and a new weapon I have not tried yet. I haven't played any of the new season yet. I was at a soccer tournament starting from Friday until yesterday evening. Got home just in time for the item shop. Tactical style. They do sound okay. Kind of sounds like bones breaking. I think that's what I'm hearing. And then an edit style for Nolan here. I, I really like what he was wearing already with like the suit and the vest. That's okay though, it's okay. Gameplay of Nolan here. Checking out the glider first. Okay, so we threw his back bling into the equip of the glider, which was cool. It's no longer on the back. And now it's there. That was actually cool. I almost missed that. Equip and equip here. Nothing really much for a streak. Sounds pretty average to me. The weapon wrap here should be fine. I like that it's on an overly, like, overly saturated color scheme that he has here. It's a nice, subtle green-ish blue color. And then hitting components. I would say overall, the skin is clean. I like the deploy with the back thing and the glider. And the weapon wrap is simple, but it looks nice. Looks really nice. Let's go ahead and do the emote here dice roll i'm thinking i'm gonna get number seven number seven okay page three voting screen we have a back bling the stealing wheel i really like that idea and then the little keychains jangling around that's really fun to me i am very boring though v bucks pit cycle traversal emote god bless if that's copyrighted that's really cool though pizza run you can use it on outfits now as long as you purchase them this is a pickaxe you don't say i like the sound of that i really do and then the outfit is piper pace she's a pizza delivery driver for the pizza pit i think it's a really fun idea honestly that is cool i like the pizza stuff Page four, loading screen. I believe we have some new vehicles as well in this season and or one new vehicle. That's a cool loading screen. Pizza put banner on kind, which is actually really cool. Tail lights, contrail. I actually enjoy that. That is really creative. I'm going to give it to him on that one. Very creative. Love that. V-Bucks are great. A hyperspace glider, um, pizza pit. Nothing crazy here. I'm going to say it. Nothing crazy. Hungry for the chase. I'm sure it's great. We're not going to spend too much time on that. The hyperspace, hyper pace style. Um, it's, you know, it's okay. It's going to match a lot with that pink, that purple. I like the blue as well. I'm a sucker for that color blue, like turquoise blue looking color. I'm a sucker for it. Now we have hyper pace in game. Um, changing boost still don't work. Unfortunately, we don't have the original edit style for the glider because that is hidden behind the quest rewards, to my knowledge, if I remember correctly. So just keep that in mind. The harvesting tool is really fun, though. <laughs> Impact is so good, though. Look at that. Impact is really nice. We don't have the weapon wrap either. This is the boogeyman I'm using for the gameplay, but this is ADS. You can take off her jacket and her hat if you would like to with this style as well. Keep that in mind. It sounds really good <laughs> hitting opponents as well. This is a really unique idea for a harvesting tool. Really fun. 
I wanted to take a look at this contrail as well here because I thought it was really unique here with the road, the tail lights, the headlights on the hands, tail lights on the feet. If you stop, does it get brighter? I'm going backwards here. I'm just, I was just checking. What a very unique contrail here. That was really good, actually. It even turns when you turn. Look at that. Super unique. Very unique. And the emote here, which might be copyrighted. Not sure. I don't have my copyright music off, so I'm kind of taking a gamble here. But I like how it came out of a pizza box when you equipped it. Check it out. That is cool. Really enjoy this traversal emote. It goes really fast, too, compared to other traversal emotes. It goes insanely fast. Page five. Fish thick. This is very interesting to me. Fishy Flex Emoticon animated, by the way. The powder keg back bling is like a pro <laughs> thing of protein powder. Okay, actually really cool. Uh, this a uh, dumbbell pickaxe. Okay. I think it just feel a little bit more heavy. I like the sounds though. I do like the sounds. It doesn't sound as heavy as I thought. Flaky feast emote. <laughs> Ew. It's protein fish food. So it's like the flakes that are like in the fish bowl that... Wow, that's really interesting, actually. Really creative. And then fish thick. Um, definitely skipping leg day, but <laughs> I'm all about it. ADS might be slightly clunky, but that is a really funny idea. Page six here, another loading screen, which is fine. This glider is really funny. I really enjoy that. I love the expression on the glider's face. Really funny there. V-Bucks, banner icon. Vindication style. So we're getting another edit style here with that back playing. Um, the Coral Crush weapon wrap. Uncommon. Mm, nothing too crazy there. Vindicator fish thick style. Love this. Love this. Look at how small his hat is. God bless. That is a really fun style. Really enjoy this fish thick skin so far. Now we have fish thick. Really fun idea. Loving it so far. Still have the contrail on here. Keep that in mind. The Swole Sailor. Nothing super unique about the glider, but I think it's really funny nonetheless. It did pop when I landed. That was cool. I was waiting to see if something happened. A little blurred out version for a streak. Impact is okay. A little red and yellow. I'll say the sound is pretty average. We don't have the correct weapon wrap yet. Keep that in mind. ADS, yes, slightly clunky. I know some of these weapons might be outdated with a new weapon pool. I don't know yet. I haven't updated the map yet with the new season. But I think it's a really, really fun idea. Skipping leg day, though, like I said. Sounds like it hurts for sure. And then the emote here, which is called Flaky Feast. Comes off of his back, by the way. No longer wearing the back bling. Eating the fish food. And the back bling should reappear. Very cool. Very cool idea. Page seven. Starting off with the loading screen. She's a gamer and a programmer and or very smart, which is fine. The May Jr. back bling. You know, it looks a little cuddly. I don't know if I'm really going to rock that, but it looks pretty good for a back bling. Um... I don't even want to say what it's called for the style or the actual rap name, but we all know what it sounds like. Okay, I'm not going to say it. V-Bucks, a spray you can use on the new skins we just got last night. Harvesting Tool, the original Bonk Bunny. I feel like it's going to be really good. Yeah, impact is great. Love the impact, really fun there. And then the actual outfit. She looks really good right here. I like the overall. One up, one down. I actually dig it. It's cell shaded. Maybe that's, I don't dig it as much because of that, but it looks pretty good so far. Page eight, loading screen, looks fine. V-Bucks, race to the horizon. Oh, I like this actually. 80s vibes, love that. Um, Bunny hop emoticon. This is a glider, the dark mode. Actually, it's pretty cool. I like that. It reminds me of um, 
God, it's an old video game. I forgot what it is. Like the helmet here reminds me of something. I can't remember what it is. Dark mode for the backling now. It looks okay. I don't I don't think it's reactive. It seems like it, it could be. It doesn't say here though if it's reactive or not, but it still looks okay. This style, I you know the overalls. I love this. Um you can put Kevin the Cube on here, you can put Nosh on here. Really enjoy it. What do you what can you put on here? Nosh. You heard it here first. Looks pretty cool. So I will say this about the current outfit. You do have the options for the cell shaded edit styles. If you want it to look more cell shaded and or non cell shaded, which they don't really tell you that in the battle pass until you actually look at it in your locker with the edit styles, equip and equip. This is the original fully cell shaded uh, style, by the way. Great streak there. Oh yeah, that is really good. That is a very, very cool ADS here with the, you know what wrap. Now you don't have the option to change the cell shade on the weapon wrap. We never have. I don't know if we ever will, but ADS is fine. I like the hat. I like the hair. I like the overalls. Like I like the outfit. I really do. That sounds great. Now we're going to turn everything off for the cell shading and see what everything looks like here. Now this style is called gradient and or to my knowledge, no cell shading or the least amount possible which looks really good. I will show you it in locker as well. Again, the glider also has the gradient edit style on to look a little bit more realistic. Although I feel like it still feels a little out of place with this gradient style. It's better than not having the option here. You know what I mean? So let me show you it in locker real quick, like side by side. So this is the original cell style. I almost tongue twisted myself here. And then this is the gradient, which I just used in the gameplay. And then if you want somewhere in between, we have outlined gradient, which does have more of like a reddish outline on everything, reddish pink outline, and then no gradient here. I like options and everything has that options except the weapon wrap. Page nine, loading screen, another spray, um, elegant blade harvesting tool. It's got a nice ting to it. I will say, and the impact was cool with the sparks, but the blade visually looks kind of boring to me for a tool. Ooh. Like some house music. Diamond drop for a contrail. We don't get a lot of contrails anymore. I think the road one was main, way, like, way more creative than this. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Antonia. Antonia? Antonia. actually pretty damn clean i don't like the high heels obviously you know i'm always gonna say that but the skin looks pretty good let me talk to your manager page 10 loading screen v bucks emoticon animated you know what just put all your effort into sprays now since we can use them put all your effort into sprays although we can use that for backlings as well so it is what it is is the tool gonna visually unequip it better because that is the harvesting tool in the back bling. this is an uncommon wrap not a lot of wraps being um you know i like the shim here it kind of reminds me of like a disco ball not a lot of reactive wraps here not that i'm expecting it but there, there's a lot of uncommon rarity so far with the weapon wraps in the battle pass that's actually pretty cool that's a good one that's a really good emote combat chick at its style i don't like the shoulders but i like the mask and i like the white and the gold together again the high heels <clears throat> all right now we have the manager part seven i think she does have her own contra here keep that in mind to my knowledge she does not have her own glider i just use this because it kind of looks fun with her um, maybe she gets a glider later. I know there's some some question marks in later weeks for quest rewards. Maybe she does have her own glider. We cope and equip. It does come out of the back bling here, which we were hoping it would do. Visually and equipping. You know, that swing, unless I'm stupid, looks new. Is that a new swing animation? I think it might be. Impact is great. The sparkles afterwards love that 
she does have her own wrap as well here which looks pretty good has that disco ball theme on it you know the buttstock area i don't mind the two-colored hair either it actually looks pretty good then her hair physics here going back and forth while adsing i think it's fine you know it's just the high heels for me i'm just gonna say that every time but it does look pretty good hitting opponents as well yeah, like the tool, I don't like the way the tool looks, but I like the effects and the sound on it. The sound is actually better than I thought. And then the emote here, crack it. I'm pretty sure we can rotate doing this as well. If I can just use my joystick and my controller here. You can. All right, now we know. Page 11. That's the guy from TikTok. Congrats. Um, he was always doing the stuff on TikTok. Um, blew up for stuff like that. Good for him. The silent slicer tool. Another sword type tool. Good impact. Really good impact. He's saying that's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Really funny emote there. Just do this. You know, hold on. Okay, I don't agree with how he's holding his pistol right here. Maybe a little bit more like this, you know? But it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, so this is an icon series wrap. Not reactive, not animated to my knowledge, but the color scheme is nice. It's not super saturated, which is cool. And then the outfit here. It looks just like him. <laughs> That's actually... It's got the hand on the back, too, for a logo. Oh, he did it! He did the thing! <laughs> actually, a really cool lobby pose for him. Page 12, additional styles from a man's here. Banner icon with the hands. Emoticon with the hands as well, which is funny. This glider looks sick. The glider looks nice. Turned out really well. Um, additional style. Oh, this is a back bling. Did I see the back bling last page? No. So it should visually unequip here. It should visually unequip. Looks okay. Like, at least if you have a sword... It's got to visually unequip. I'm just saying, like, that's what I like nowadays. Being as far as we are into the game. It's got to visually unequip. And then the traditional style here. Um, cell shaded for sure. Why are you cell shaded? You don't know. No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, I believe he's the most followed creator on TikTok. By doing, like, his little hand gestures. He's got him on the bottom of his shoes, too. Own glider as well. I like how you hold on to it here. It's very subtle. Nothing really crazy for a Contra layer on the glider, but it's still fine. Equip when equip. It does basically unequip from the back plane, by the way. In case you were curious. So we're used to this swing animation. Not a bad streak either. I'm looking at the tool. I wasn't I wasn't sure if like it was getting brighter with each swing. It doesn't look like it was. Impact is really good here. Love the impact. Now, there is an emote as well we have to do called the point and shoot. See? That's it. That's all you got to do. That's really funny, man. Now, hitting components should be just as good as impacting other materials. It sounds like you're slapping them with your bare hand. Was I the only one that heard that? ADS should be fine here with his own weapon wrap as well, which is... Like the cell shaded version of his edit style. Keep that in mind. I would have loved to have one that was not like this. Maybe later in the past with some quest rewards, bonus rewards. I don't know. I want to hit opponents though again. That was really funny to listen to. That is great. Congrats, my guy. Page 13. Loading screen. Looks pretty aggressive. Now this is a rare wrap and it's reactive. Okay, we got one in the past, guys. We got one. Oh, yeah, I see it there around the barrel. I see it. I see it. Um, a spray, which you can use on outfits. Yes, three bucks. This contrail, you know, I've never really liked like having a pool of something in front of you unless you looked like a comet flying through the sky. I don't really en enjoy that, but I enjoy the contrail and the bats coming off. I don't, I don't like the puddle underneath it. That's just me personally. These are some tools. These are some dualies. Ooh, that's really quiet. Really, really quiet. And then we have Kato Thorn. Thorn A. Yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just being stupid. I can't read, but seriously. You know, it looks okay. The animation on the mask 
actually looks pretty sick. I just don't know if I like the jacket. I like the rest. I like the rest. The jacket? Mm, I don't know, Fortnite. I don't know. Page 14. Loading screen again. Banner icon. These are a pair of back blings. You would only assume we have a glider that is very similar to this with back bling that is this large in nature. Emoticon. Animated. V-Bucks. Hey, the glider, which is also the back bling. So I'm assuming it's going to eliminate any back bling you're wearing once you equip this in the air. And if you are wearing the wings back bling, maybe it transitions cool in game. We're going to find out because we're going to test it in game as well. An emote to transform into. Wow. Put the dogs away, please. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool, though. It's got, you know, I think I like this style more now. The jacket is fine here. Put the dogs away, sir. Please put the dogs away. Now, this is the, um, excuse my pronunciation. Cato Thorn. Cato Thorne does have his own contra here. Look at the back bling because it is also the glider. I'm actually going to try that again because I, um, I almost forgot to look for it here. Ooh, when you land, here we go and equip. It's very quick. And then when you land, it's like a puff of red looking smoke. And it transforms your back bling back onto your back. ADS with his own wrap. Uh, reactive, by the way. I like the animated mask. That is really cool. Really, really cool. Equip, unequip. I will say these dualies are a snooze fest. Everything from the impact to the way they look to the sound. Huge snooze fest, but we do have a built-in emote which is not the gritty. Here it is, metamorphosis. Um, metamorphosis. I guess I can't do built-in emotes in creative. I had to come into a pregame lobby just to do this built-in emote, metamorphosis. It's all right. I'm not super impressed by it though. Very quickly, we're going to go over the bonus rewards as well. We have additional style here for the backlink, additional uh, style for this glider, a really cool loading screen. Love that additional style for this harvesting tool. I still love the way it sounds. I love that. Ooh, now this is cool that it's it kind of it's kind of making my eyes go cross eyed. I'm trying to like focus on everything, but it's really cool. That's simple, but it's clean. Additional style here. The pink looks okay. Valentine's Day. You can use it there. It'll be fine. Next page here. This will sire for this glider with a guy from the beginning of the pass. Another spray you can use on outfits now. Okay. It might be copyright. I have no idea. So I'll probably turn that down in the video as well because I'm not sure. Pizza pit. Uh, wrap again. Um, uncommon rarity additional style for this backlink additional style for oh this is him unmasked the guy at the end of the battle pass now he's unmasked here additional style okay and we don't know we don't know we don't know quest rewards loading stream which is great love that big score contrail okay yeah the money bags okay i get it i get it this looks clean he looks clean right there. Really cool. Upcoming animated emoticon. Upcoming rare glider for the pizza pit. Upcoming style for the pizza delivery lady. The yellow and the green. I dig it. I dig that. And then page two here. Just no style for the dumbbell harvesting tool. Just no style for the glider. The glider is so funny. It's so funny. Additional style from my man here. That is really cool. <laughs> That's a really fun style. Banner icon. Should have a good impact again. Oh, yeah. Great, great, great. Um, D-boot, Dusk, May. You know, I like the overalls, man. It's really selling me on the overalls. And the hoop earrings, love that. And then the lady from Star Trek. Star Wars. Star Wars. Coming in 31 days. I'm sure she's great. I'm sure she's great, guys. 
so as always we're gonna have to buy everything here just for the sake of the video because you guys like to see me waste my money which is fine it's for the brand i'm okay with it we're still waiting it's fine we're still waiting it's fine and we have the stars which is amazing and now we're gonna actually claim all of this claim pages all the way up to the last page which is i believe 14 14 we're claiming it all support creator piz zero if you're buying tiers you already know i appreciate the support and then we're claiming everything because we're lazy we are lazy we're very happy to be in this position that we can afford this but we are lazy we're starting at 100 and we are going all the way down the line for you guys for the content let's go here we 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 go honestly not a bad battle pass now that i've used the base model cosmetics from the battle pass i will say it feels better than last season's battle pass um if i had to give it a rating right now maybe like an 8.5 out of 10 i don't care much for the star trek sorry star wars character that we have um but other than that it seems pretty solid thank you guys so much for watching and for being patient supporter creator piz0 and we'll see you nerds on the live stream see ya